Hey guys, Freedom F-150. We're headed out to the track today to go run a new tune. We're just gonna see how it does. And we're gonna get this thing dialed in. It's pretty loud. Got it set up for track day. guys we're here at Banamere Speedway and I just went to tech got everything got my helmet and uh, we're gonna be heading down there soon pretty interesting rig right there it's so fun going to the drag strip and just seeing all the other cars that are there it's just so fascinating to me get a first rip down the drag strip and see how things are going. All right guys, we are in the staging lanes. Truck is kind of warm, so hopefully hopefully my goal is not to run a super fast pass. My goal is to run run this new tune just make sure the fuel pump's working okay. So that's my main goal for this run, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we're pulling in the lanes right now. I'm about to get on the strip. Roll the windows up, it's kind of loud out there. So like I said before, this is just a test run just to see how this fuel pump's doing. I just want to make sure it's doing okay. Um, I might even let out of it, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Okay, we're definitely gonna get smoked by this Camaro here. top end so we'll have to see what that was man I was like I was neck and neck with that Camaro for a, quite a long ways then he started toward the top end he started pulling out ahead of me Hi. thank you, you got it. okay we went at 1252 at 108 so the truck is definitely hot and um, I'm gonna take a look at the data log but I think it was breaking up in the top end, it just felt, it just didn't feel quite as good. I have no idea what my launch was. Looks like my 60 foot, eh, my 60 foot was 1.82. Um, my reaction time was garbage, it was a 0.6, but the Camaro was 0.6 as well. Um, the eighth was 8.0, uh, 1,000 foot, 10.4. Yeah, this truck is usually a lot faster than that. I'm gonna go let it cool down and we might make a second pass depending on what the log looks like. So I'll we'll take a look at the log here in a minute and we'll see how that goes. So we're looking at the data log here. I'm kind of thinking I'm not gonna run it, at, run it again because of the air to fuel ratio was, as you can see right here, this is, uh, this is the air to fuel ratio on bank one and bank two. And if you look here, right at high RPM, which is right there, there's quite a big spike. Um, so the air, air to fuel ratio was really off there and then it climbs up and goes really off there. And then it's okay here. And then as I got higher in RPM in third gear, it did the same thing. So, and it looks like it was pulling out boost, which is good, but 
Um, yeah, I think we're gonna not run it again, but I'm also gonna check one more thing because I'm curious what the fuel rail pressure was. So it looks like we got a max of 3547 PSI. That must have been right there. Yeah. Because you can see right after that is when the air to fuel went way off. And then we're balancing out about 2600 PSI. We kind of went off right there because it jumped up at the 3000 PSI. I had a little bit of an issue down here with 2800. Yeah, I'm gonna send this off to uh, Tori and we'll see what he says, um, but I kind of doubt I'm gonna be able to do in a second run today. to race a Whipple F-150 on a Whipple tune and it's a suit uh, it's a single cap short bed um, so we're gonna see how this goes hopefully the truck is okay even though it's sort of going lean but it's pulling boost out so it's it should be okay we'll see um, I'll keep everything I'll make sure everything's okay on my uh, my tuner here as I'm driving down the track, so. me a little bit on the top end well guys that's a wrap for today the truck is pretty slow right now because of the issue with leaning out at the top end so I definitely need to get that taken care of but we will see what we can do when the next time we get here <laughs>